guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. And today, I wanted to talk about something a lot of you guys have actually pointed out. And I'm not going to pretend I haven't seen your comments. I have. And uh, I'm not going to pretend that I don't think it's, you know, at all coincidental. Um, but basically, a lot of you guys know what's been going on lately. Uh, for the last, I'd say since August, everything just started to like go downhill uh, in not only my life, but uh, Alyssa's life also. And um, it's funny because, well, it's not funny, but it, it's, you know, it's a coincidence that things were, gr were going great between us. Like everything was going great. Her life was getting better. Mine was getting better. Like, um... She had just got this new house. It was a pretty big house and everything like that. Just moved in with her dad. And, um, you know, I just hit 100,000 subscribers. And I was getting like 1,000 subscribers a day. And things were going really well. And I got my silver play button. I got verified. Um, so things were going really well in the summer. And, uh, but if you guys remember, it was around August when I played the Ouija board. I did that live stream. Um, well, I did like three live streams. And, uh, if you guys didn't see that, they are still on my channel. You can watch them. Now, a lot of you guys have pointed out and said, do you think it could have been Zozo, if not Zozo, some kind of demon that has, you know, turned our lives literally upside down? Um, and it's just, with everything that's going wrong lately, I, I find it a coincidence, and I am a believer in the paranormal, and I believe that there is, like, demons and things like that. Um, but do I really believe that this had something to do with that night. That night we played the Ouija board. Um, and honestly, I don't know. Like, it is very, very weird how, like, everything has just gone wrong. And it's like our lives are getting worse and worse and worse since that, that night we played the Ouija board. And basically, just to catch you guys up, in the summer we played the Ouija board on a live stream. The first night, um... I don't remember the first night too well, but I think it was the second night was like really, really responsive. And we, we did a lot of things. We tried to like do it correctly. We followed the rules and you know, like we had like, um, like I had a crucifix around my neck and we said a prayer and we, we made sure that we were like doing it right. And we protected ourselves and we weren't like laughing and joking about it. We were taking it dead serious. Um, and we started to play and, uh, from what I remember, it started off pretty accurate, like it was answering questions about my family, like personal things that even she didn't really know, and then it started to talk about her family, stuff that I didn't really know, like I knew the family's names, but they were like, you know, it wasn't, I, I didn't know who's who, like I don't know who's her friggin' like, you know, her uncle's cousin's brother and stuff like that, um, so it was pretty weird how it was answering them very like, for the first, like, I'd say, like, first 30 minutes, it was answering questions accurately, and there was nothing weird about it. Like, I didn't have any bad vibes or nothing like that. And then it did come to a point where it started to, like, I noticed it start to spell things wrong. Um, it was kind of answering correctly, but it was spelling the names wrong. Um, and then it just started to spell mumble jumble, like, a bunch of just, it was just not making any sense. And then it started to, I remember this one very vividly, it started to go W, C, W, C, W, C, and it just kept doing that again and again and again. It couldn't make any sense of it. Um, and then, after that, it started to like, it was weird, it was like we were having a conversation with a normal person, like it was spelling everything right, like somebody who knew us. And then all of a sudden, things just changed, and it started doing W, C, W, C. And then it started to go Z, O. And honestly, when I saw that, like, I completely forgot about the whole, you know, Zozo thing. Um, what I was thinking was that there is somebody in Alyssa's family with the name Zoe. And that's what I first thought it was going to say. Uh, because it was at that point listing a bunch of names. So I thought it was going to say that. But then it was like Z, O, Z. And as soon as it went back to the second Z, I was like... Oh my god, no, 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 this can't be happening. Um, 
And yeah, it just kept doing it. It, it didn't just, just say like Z-O-Z-O. -Z -O. It actually carried on and it was like Z-O-Z-O-Z-O. -Z -O -Z -O. And it went on and on. Um, and it was just not spelling things right. And it was, it was really, really uncomfortable. Like the whole atmosphere changed at that point of the game. Like it wasn't unpleasant before that. Um, I mean, of course, you're always kind of nervous playing a Ouija board, but it wasn't unpleasant. It was just like, you know, you're playing a Ouija board. It is a very unsettling thing. But then when that happened, the whole atmosphere just changed. It just turned all of a sudden really dark. And me and Alyssa actually got into a fight the second night we did it. Um, and this did it two nights in a row. It did the same thing two nights in a row. And I, I couldn't figure it out. I wasn't sure if it was just like, you know, Z-O-Z-O -Z -O knew about, like, knew the answers to our family and stuff like that. Or we were genuinely talking to someone from our family and somehow it was like interfere, uh, it, it, uh, not interfered, but like somehow it interrupted the session. Like this demon got through and, you know, completely and rudely interrupted the session, took over. I don't know. Um, but, you know, life was great back then. Um, and it was ever since then that things have gone downhill. Uh, it wasn't long after that Alyssa's dad passed away. And then that was just the start, man. That was just like, it started off with that. And then Alyssa, she lost her house. Um, and then it led to like, you know, us now breaking up. And it is, this is a very, like we've been together for three and a half years. So this is very unusual behavior from her. Now, I just thought she was grieving stuff like that. I mean, it could just be that. Um, but like we've never gone a day without talking to each other for three and a half years. Um, and you know, it's been three weeks since we like really talked and it's just weird. Like I'm, I'm depressed, I'm miserable and I miss her so much and I just don't know. And now there's also bad news that something else, somebody else in her family is critically ill right now. Um, I'm talking life support and it's not looking good, but it's, it's just unbelievable um, how things are just, you know, going downhill. And so many people have said, like, is this, uh, do you think this is, like, Zozo? Do you think Zozo's doing this to you? Did you let it in? And now it's, like, ruining your lives. Um, and I, I don't know. Like, I mean, people believe, some people believe that Zozo genuinely exists. Some people say they don't. Like, it's, it's a made-up thing. It's not real. It's just made up. Um... And, but I mean, it could just, there's no question about it that it was saying that on the Ouija board. So unless it's, that's where they came up with the name. Maybe there is no such thing as Zozo, but it does, there is something on the Ouija board that does say Z-O-Z-O. -Z -O. Now, whether it's just trying to play with us, um, like us all as people, I don't know. Like, was it a demon? Was it genuinely a demon? I mean, we did close the session like you're supposed to. We said goodbye and everything like that. And for a few weeks, like for a few Nights after that, we felt very uncomfortable and, you know, like I was having a hard time sleeping and stuff like that. And we had the TV on just so we could sleep at night because there was something like not right about, you know, the house and the room and stuff like that. And, you know, we spoke to a paranormal team. We called up a paranormal team. Again, that video is on YouTube. If you want to check it out. And we spoke to him about it. And he just said, I would stay away from the Ouija board because the more you play it, the stronger it gets and the harder it is to get rid of and stuff like that. So um, just leave it alone and try and just ignore it. Don't let it scare you because these things, if it is a demon, they feed on fear. Um, so we didn't. And you know what? Things were fine. Like it was okay. But then like her dad died and everything's just a, a downward spiral since then. Now, uh, now she's she's sick herself, Alyssa. Apparently she's, because um, I'm still in touch with her family and stuff like that, so I'm checking up on her through her family. Um, apparently she was, she's been, like, vomiting and stuff, so. And, uh, yeah, I've just had a pretty rough time myself. Like, just everything, like, my whole life is just, it feels so dark right now. And you guys have seen my videos. You know how I'm taking this. And I just wonder, I mean, because we were both playing it, it might not be you know, an attack on me, but it could potentially be an attack on her because she is a lot more vulnerable than I am. She's a lot more, you know, she's, I mean, she's a strong person, but she's, 
I think when it comes to the paranormal, I'm more into it than she is. Like, I know more about it than she is. So this isn't really an attack on me because nothing's really happening to me. It's all seems to be around her. But because it's happening to her and because I've lost her, it's, it's like it's affecting me too. Um, and I mean, I loved her dad and stuff like that. So like it, it is, it's still affecting me, like what's going on. But I don't know whether it's just like coincidental, like it rains, it pours, bad luck, just plain bad luck. It's a really bad time. Or this is because we messed around with the Ouija board. I, I honestly don't know, but a lot of you guys have pointed that out and a lot of you guys have brought it up and you're like, do you think it is because of that? Like, it's just so weird how everything's going downhill since then. Honestly, I've thought about it myself. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought about it too. Um, I even mentioned it to Alyssa while we were still talking. We were like, I was thinking it, but I didn't want to say anything to her to upset her. Uh, but she actually brought it up to me and she was like, do you think it's weird that, you know, ever since we played the Ouija board, all this stuff's been happening. And I said, you know what, I was thinking the same thing. And a lot of you guys are thinking the same thing. So I thought I would address it. And honestly, guys, I don't know. Like, I believe in the paranormal. I believe in demons. I believe in evil. But I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I've prayed. I've prayed every night since. And not every night, but like, I've prayed most nights since I've lost Alyssa. I'm praying for strength and forgiveness and mercy because I, I sometimes I just feel like I can't take it anymore like I can't imagine a life without her like I literally love her more than anyone else in this world um so I I don't know it's it's scary it's scary um but people say like a demon doesn't necessarily mean that you know you you play the Ouija board you summon a demon for example you let one into your life it's not like gonna possess you then and there and I mean it's it it can't happen but like it's not necessarily gonna do that that's not what you should fear like a demon is gonna come in and possess you then and there and you're gonna end up like that Annalise Mitchell um, that's not always the case a demon can actually ruin your life gradually and I'm worried that's what's going on like it could be I don't know it depends on what you believe but like I, I feel like I need God right now. Like, I've actually been praying, and I'm not the most religious person in the world, but I like to believe there's a God. I do have a Bible. I, I, you know, I wear a crucifix, and I say prayers at times, and I've been begging for, like, three weeks now for mercy and strength just to help me, and I, it just seems like things just keep getting worse. Like, every day, I, I find out something worse has, is happening, and it always seems to be surrounding Alyssa, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but the more it hurts her, because I, I love her so much, I feel like she's literally my other half, and it's hurting me too. And the fact that I can't do nothing about it because we're not together. She's like broken up with me. Um, and she's like shutting herself away and hiding from people, hiding, you know, I, I don't know whether she feels like she can't be hurt anymore if she like hides away from everyone. I don't know. It's something that... It's just something very, very strange how all this is happening and I don't know, but you guys have pointed it out and I, I, I didn't want to like keep ignoring your comments. I'm not going to do that because it is something that should really be addressed. Um, I just don't know. Honestly, that's my answer to your questions. Do I think this is something to do with the Ouija board? I don't know. It's just very strange how we played the Ouija board and then within a week things started going downhill and that was back in August. We're now in December and I'm still getting bad news. Not only that, but we're not even together anymore. Like my future is ruined. If I don't get her back eventually, um, you know, my future is ruined because I, I centered my life around her. Like everything I planned for my future was, you know, centered around her. I proposed to her. I loved her like I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her I wanted to get married to her and have children and have our own property one day and it's like without her now I feel like I have no future and I don't know how she's feeling because I can't get in touch with her but I know she's not doing too good and that's what's worrying me um, but it, like I said I'm always checking in with her family and they're able to get in touch with her now and then and stuff like that so I don't know, guys. I, I, I've 
I'm thinking I might have to, like, go to church or something, because this is... Even if it's nothing to do with the Ouija board, it's nothing to do with demons. Something really bad is going on. Um, and, I mean, a lot of people, some people will say, I don't believe in God, God doesn't exist, and stuff like that. Well, you don't know God. Does. This is my argument. I'm okay with people saying, like, I don't believe in God. That's fine. You don't have to. But when people say God doesn't exist, like, how the heck do you know? Like, have you actually seen proof that he does not exist? I mean, it's 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 an in-depth thing, but, like, there is no proof that he doesn't exist. And there also is no proof that he exists. It's all just what you believe as a person. And I like to believe that there is a God. I like to believe that, you know, when I die, I'm going to go to heaven. I like to believe that. It's just what you believe as a person, I guess. Um, it is just a... It's, it's not good, but yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this, and you know, if you look at my videos since the summer, I mean, for a long period of time, I did keep a lot of things away from you guys, uh, but now it's gotten to the point where, like, it's it's happening all the time. There's always something bad happening, um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember the most important thing, chase your dreams. I love you all, and uh, yeah, peace out.